book the third, Gore, the Tale of Niggery Sow. We ended book the second yesterday, and at the end of the book the second, we found Roscaro back in the dungeon, and we found that a wagon had been driving by the castle, and a soldier had sat with a young girl. The girl's name reader was Miggery Sow, and though she, she did not know it, she would be instrumental in helping the rat with his revenge. Gore, the tale of Miggery Sow. Chapter 24, a handful of cigarettes, a red tablecloth, and a hen. Again, reader, we must go backward before we can go forward. Oh, with that said, here becomes the history from the times of Miggery Sow, a girl born many years before Despero and before the rat Chirascaro. A girl born far from the castle, a girl named for her father's favorite prize-winning pig. Miggery Sow was six years old when her mother, holding on to Mig's hand and staring directly into Mig's eyes, died. Ma, says Mig, Ma, couldn't you stay here with me? Oh, said her mother, who is that? Who is that holding my hand? It's me, Ma, Miggery Sow. Ah, oh, child, let me go. But, but I want you to stay here, said Mig, whipping first at her runny nose and her running eyes. You want, said the mother. Yes, said Mig, I want. Ah, uh, child, what does it matter what you are wanted, said her mother. She squeezed Mig's hand once and twice, and then she died, leaving Mig alone with her father, who on a market day in spring, soon after his wife's death, sold his daughter for a handful of cigarettes, a red tablecloth, and a hen. Do you remember the prisoner? Yeah. That Roscaro met, who had to said he sold his daughter? Papa, said Mig when her father was walking away from her with the hen in his arm and a cigarette in his mouth, and the red tablecloth draped around his shoulders like a cape. Go on, he said to Mig. You belong to that man now. But I don't want to, Papa, she said. I want to go home with you. She took a hold of the red tablecloth and tugged on it. Lord, child, her father said, who is asking you what you want? Now go on now. He untangled her fingers from the cloth and turned her in the direction of the man who had bought her. Mig watched her father walk away, the red tablecloth billowing out behind him. He left his daughter. And reader, as you already know, he did not look back. Not even once. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine your father selling you for a tablecloth, a hen, and a handful of cigarettes? How do you feel right now? Sad. Awful. Awful, sad. Close your eyes and consider it for a moment. Done? I hope that the hair on the back of your neck stood up at the thought of Mig and her fate and how it would be if it were your own. Poor Mig, what will become of her? You must, frightened though you may be, read on and see for yourself. Reader, it is your duty.